What's up everyone and welcome back to MLB The Show 17 once again and today we are finally going to be getting started with my franchise. It's been a yearly tradition on this channel. It is what started me doing YouTube and we are going to continue it this year once again and hopefully try to break that three season mark that we have not seemed to get past in any of these series. In MLB 14 I planned on going back to the series and doing a fourth season however my PlayStation got the yellow light and I had to get it replaced and I didn't have PlayStation Plus at the time so none of my backups were saved. In MLB 15 with the Indians we only did two seasons because I moved during the season and could not record gameplay for a lot of it. And then last year things just kind of got out of hand with school so hopefully we can get to a miracle fourth season. We're probably going to have to actually get to a fourth season to win a World Series. Because as you are about to see and already probably saw with the title, the team we are going to be using this year is the Milwaukee Brewers. I've never had a full rebuild project in MLB The Show. It's always kind of been taking middle of the road teams and taking them over the top with either a few moves or whatever is required to get to the playoffs. Sometimes in the case of the Indians and Blue Jays, it's really just taking a good team and actually getting the job done with those teams. And choosing a franchise team this year in MLB The Show was the single hardest decision I've ever had to make for a series on this channel. I have never gone back and forth more on what team I was going to use for a game, ever. It really came down to like the last couple hours before the OSFM rosters came out. And ultimately I chose the Brewers because I wanted a rebuilding challenge, which I haven't really done in MLB The Show on screen anyway. I've done plenty on my own, but... I've never really done a series where I've actually had to build a team from the ground up. And I liked a lot of the foundation on this team in terms of young guys. Offensively, there are a few good outfielders on this team as we're going to be going through the roster right now. And the first thing that was very apparent about this team is that there is a complete lack of pitching talent. Obviously, Jack Davies is pretty solid by his ratings. Josh Hader has high potential. And Jimmy Nelson could, you know, still turn his career around at this point. And there's guys at the lower levels that could be pretty decent one day, but there is really no MLB ready pitching talent either in the bullpen or in the starting rotation as Corey Nebel doesn't really have the greatest ratings in this game either. And it's really going to be an uphill battle because as you guys have seen in my past series, a lot of the time the success is really built on having a dominant pitching staff, having a solid one through five. And it's always something that I've really, really tried to get throughout all of my series in MLB no matter how good the offense was, I was always very concerned with the pitching side of things. And I'm going to take a moment right now to say, because his name is about to come up, that Oswaldo Arcia will not be seeing the field for the Brewers this season. He will be spending the season in AAA, most likely. I don't anticipate him coming up to the majors unless there is some sort of significant boost, because I don't see a point in wasting his not only service time which is you know a concern for a small market team like Milwaukee but really wasting his potential because a lot of guys potential can deteriorate if they really struggle at the major league level to start out and I really don't want that to happen for Oswaldo Arcia because he is one of the bright spots on this team along with the man I'm about to highlight right now Keon Broxton I'm really excited to see what he can do for us this season is he will be playing in the majors because I want to keep Lewis Brinson down. I want some time for him to improve his plate skills. His hitting ratings are already pretty decent, but I want to get his vision and discipline up, which we're going to work on in the minors and possibly his hitting versus right handers because he's a very, very good hitter against lefties already. And if he can develop as a good hitter against righties, he's going to be an unstoppable offensive force. And I'm kind of hoping for a good year out of Domingo Santana, too. He's always been one of my favorite prospects, but he's never really come through. We'll see what this team can accomplish this year with all these different pieces that it has. But the pitching does not really show a lot of bright signs. As Our highest overall pitcher is Junior Guerra, and he's an 81, and there's nobody above 81 in the entire rotation outside of him. Although I like... Zach Davies and Chase Anderson as potential guys who could overperform this season. And our best reliever is a 75 overall, and it's Carlos Torres, who's somebody who's probably going to turn into a trade ship for us if he pitches well throughout the season. Lineup is a little bit more promising as you got that top two of Jonathan VR and Ryan Braun, which is very, very good. And a few young guys throughout the lineup that could be pretty decent. And right now I'm showing you the lineup versus DH, which obviously is not going to be 100% accurate as we're playing in the NL, and I decided for one more year to keep it on auto, even though I'm probably going to end up turning it off next year, or if I restart this franchise. And the only difference between this lineup is there's a couple things that are in a different order, but against lefties, 
Keon Broxton is going to play center field. And against righties, Anthony Ghost is going to play center field. As you can see, that's actually kind of reflected in this lineup as it is. And no, obviously, Anthony Ghost is not actually on the Brewers, but we made a few free agent acquisitions as we didn't have an extra outfielder on the roster. And we're going to be taking advantage of the international free agency. I believe we end up signing three Japanese players. Uh, it's going to be two pitchers, including Shohei Otani who I'm thinking about potentially developing into a two-way player who could pinch hit, as we are in the NL, so it would be easy to incorporate him on off days. We're also going to be going after the second baseman, Tetsuto Yamada, who is a pretty underdeveloped hitter, but has pretty good defense and speed already, and I'm looking at him as a potential long-term replacement at that second base spot for Jonathan Villar, who won't probably stick there long-term, and I don't have a whole lot of confidence in turn on Perez either. We're also going to be signing Ricardo De La Torre, the shortstop out of, I believe, Puerto Rico. I'm not 100% certain on that. It might be the Dominican Republic. And then we're also going to sign Anthony Ghost, and he is going to make the Major League roster. We're going to offer him like a one-year, like $2.2 million. I kept having to jack up the price, and this is actually when I realized, like, oh, he could be a good platoon guy, because before this, I just planned on playing Keon Broxton full-time, but I want Keon Broxton to develop a little bit and I think the best way to do that will just be to give him only at bats against lefties for now and see if he can grow out of it and in case anybody's interested here is the list of all the people that we cut to clear the roster spots for all those free agents here's a quick look at scouting don't have the best scouts in the world but we're going to be trying to discover as many people as quickly as possible so I just tagged one guy with pitchers and tagged the rest of them with infielders for now we'll probably rotate to outfield and then just start scouting individual guys after that Maybe make a couple changes on the scouting staff because I don't like a couple of guys, but beyond that, I'm really not planning on making any personnel moves this first season. And one last thing to close out this introduction, we'll take a look at the top 50 prospects list, a new feature in this year's game, and Milwaukee has two of the top seven guys, one of which is Lewis Brinson, who I talked about earlier, very developed against lefties, needs work against right-handed pitching, but isn't the worst in the world, but really what I want to work on with him is his plate vision and discipline, as well as his clutch. His clutch is only a 29, it's not as important as some of the other stats, but I think he's an He's a fine enough fielder, and he has good enough speed that he really could be in the majors right now, but I want to get the extra time of development for him. Brinson was the third prospect on this list. The number seven prospect on this list was Josh Hader, and I really like this guy. He's got pretty good makeup. He's got good hits per nine and good Ks per nine. Very good home runs per nine, which is something I really like. His walks could use a little bit of work, but that's not the worst thing in the world. He needs to work on his control and his velocity. He needs to get a little bit better, and he doesn't have the greatest stamina, but in a prospect system like ours, but in a farm system like this, which doesn't have very many top-end prospects, a guy like this is very valuable. I'll scroll through the rest of the list so you guys can see. We had one more guy on here, and it was a pitcher who was in, I believe, double A. I'm not 100% certain about that. And for some reason, Arcia wasn't on this list, but that might be because he already played in the MLB. I'm not entirely certain about that. But anyway, that is going to do it for this introduction. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you're looking forward to more of this Brewers franchise, this is the most excited I've been to start a series in quite a while. We have a lot of work ahead of us to improve this team and the farm system, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. It's going to be our first big rebuild slash build in MLB The Show. So that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time for more Brewers franchise in MLB The Show 17.